I'm Liz Gunn and welcome on this Saturday night where I am lucky enough to be in the far north with Michael Fane, who is standing up here for New Zealand Loyal. I just want to very briefly deal with somebody who has put out a post about an interview I did uh, I think six perhaps seven years ago with somebody called Max Harris. He was a young New Zealander who at that time appeared to me to be a successful young Kiwi who'd gone to Oxford I think it was. I haven't watched the rewatched the interview since I did it. Um, he seemed to have roles in the UN, and it interested me that someone so young, I think he was in his early 20s, was doing so well. As a journalist, I'm eternally curious, and the subject he really wanted to approach was something called decolonization. Now, I at that stage was completely green on all that I know now. So green was I. I mean, if we go back a little bit further, in the inauguration of Obama, and I think this may be going back, what, to the early 2000s, I lined up my children and said, this man, this man will be another John F. Kennedy. I mean, it's embarrassing. It's like looking back at old photos at, at clothes that you used to wear and think, how did I ever think that looked okay? It's the same thing politically. I supported Bernie. I thought maybe these people would build a better world. And now we know they are some of the, well, certainly Obama, the worst, most murderous president ever in the White House. That man sent drones out to summarily execute people every single day. And, and there's much else we know about Obama now. Equally with the UN, equally with wokeism, equally with so many other things that you and, and many of, of us, including me, did not know about until we began the deep, deep, deep research that was triggered by the lockdowns and then the, the eternal lies of Jacinda Ardern and Labour and the absolute inaction of Luxon and, of course, Seymour doing nothing to stick up for the people. It has been a journey for all of us. Really, are we not going to allow one another to have come from places of darkness into light? I didn't know then what I didn't know. All of us have been in that place. I now know what I know. I've done a lot of work to understand what's going on. I have offered it to you in message after message after message. If you cannot see my sincerity, I think it's somebody called Terry, just go and do some work where you should be doing your digging, on Labour, on National, on the Opal Files, putting up that information. Wh who else? What other names are on those Opal Files? Why are you not doing that? Why are you spending all this time going, I think I found the interview from six years ago that will reveal that Liz is really a dark agent. I am not. I was ignorant. I've been open about that. You can go on any of the Amoa talks that we have on a Monday night, a matter of authenticity with John O'Fru and Farmer James and Teacher Joe. And I'm often laughing at myself about how ignorant I used to be. And don't we all shudder at what we used to believe in? I used to believe in the system. I once thought the UN was ethical. I always doubted Bill Gates, but that's another story. So there, there we have it. These sorts of, of fickle fans, I call them, because first of all, I wore a piece of punamu. I was gifted by my partner who is over in Australia, another European Kiwi, if you need to know, who had this beautiful piece of punamu that he felt would protect me if I did something crazy enough to stand up and offer my heart to this country. He said, your heart needs protection. So he let me wear his wonderful piece of punamu. And because of that, I had two people really on my back, Terry, someone, and uh, a man across the Rubicon, I think he's called. I don't, I don't put energy into them either way. So when they were berating me in the early weeks for wearing a piece of Punamu, it seemed crazy. And then when I put out the, the big policy overview in which I said, we are going to stop this whole division of Europeans and Maori and Kiwis, full stop. We need to bring Kiwis together. Co-governance is not a thing that we support. There is a far better way to run this country than the divisions that Labour has sought so hard to sow. So at that point, then those two became my big fans, apparently. People told me this, I, I don't follow them. 
And I thought at the time, I hope they're not fickle fans. I hope these are adults in the room who will really dig deep and get some, get some understanding of character and stop trying to be petty and maybe even get cheap clicks by doing gossip mongering that is founded on absolutely nothing, except that I have a past. You have a past. We all have a past. In the early days of the lockdown, I put the circle around going, stay home. I truly believe there was a bad illness abroad. That was in the first weeks. By about the second month, I was thinking something's wrong here, like many of you. We are all each other. We're no different from each other. No, and now that, that Terry has gone from fandom to questioning every aspect of me because of an interview I did six years ago as a journalist, I have to ask, I have to ask New Zealand, if there is a major mistake, what will people like that do? Get out saber-toothed tigers and unleash them on me? I am a human being. I grow like you do. I make mistakes like you do. I learn like many of you do. I'm no different. And if I make a major mistake and I own up to it in front of this camera and tell you about it, what are those people going to do? Are they going to be adults or children going, great, now we've got her. I'm, I'm just so sick of it. We can use our energy to go for the people who are on the, on the other side that has brought us to this miserable, almost tyrannical conclusion in New Zealand. Terry, put your time into investigating Labour and National and Seymour and how he wanted to go to Davos in, in the China summer Davos. He was very upset to miss out. Why don't you do those stories? Why don't you do some actual digging into actual people who are not serving the people of this country? I can't argue with this anymore. I think the other rumors were the Freemason thing. I have never been a Freemason. I have never had anything to do with Freemasonry. I knew nothing about Freemasonry until I did this, and I've had to look at how in the upper levels it seems to be somewhere where great darkness dwells, and the lower levels it seems many people have no idea of what's going on at those upper levels. It's a shallow account of Freemasonry, but people have told me in answer to my questions. Apart from that, I've had nothing to do with it. Along with that, uh, my name is... Liz Gunn, and I think there's one other rumor that kept coming after me, oh, the water company was nothing. So rumor mongering, if that's the worst you've got on me, it's a pretty pathetic negative. Tomorrow I will be putting out a message that has very deep and far reaching and painful implications. And you can do with that what you want. But I ask New Zealand, can we come back to some humanity, some maturity? some adult relationship with one another rather than trying to tear each other down. If anybody who's watching this can't see that I have worked these massive hours week in, week out to near exhaustion, if you can't see I've done it for the good of my country, for the people that I care about, including you, Terry, and the other one who doesn't like the Punamu, all of you, all of us, I care about. If you can't see that, I can't do anything about it. But if you can, bear with me tomorrow in what will be a really important message that I'll be putting out tomorrow morning.